Duck works very hard on the island of Sodor. Whether he's pulling coaches, taking trucks or shunting in the yacht, he always does the work quickly and without complaint. One day, Sir Topham Hat came to see Duck, thanking him for all the hard work he has done, and asks him if he would like to have his own branch line. Yes, please, sir, replied Duck. So Duck took charge of his new branch line. The responsibility delighted him. The line runs along the coast with sandy beaches and into a port where ships dock. Duck enjoyed every curve and corner of the line. Soon, Duck was busier than ever. Sir so Topham Hat was building a new station at the port. Station, you said, but in reality this building is going to be an engine shed. Also, why do you need to build another station a few steps next to another station? This is quite weird. Anyway, as Duck was working hard, Bertie looked after his passengers and the other engines helped too. But the work took a long time. Duck felt his responsibility deeply, and he talked endlessly about it. Ach, ay, muttered Donald sleepily. I'm Great Western, and I... Quack! 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 <laughs> what? Look how that old steam from the previous scene disappeared. Quack! Quack! Quack, you go! Sounds like you're an egg laid! And now, it's back. Quack, Quack yourself, said Duck indignantly. Later, he spoke to his driver. Duck has gas between his face and eyes. Donald says I quack, quack, as if I'd laid an egg. Quack! Wait a second, is that a snow behind his driver? It can't be some clay dust because behind him, the dust is not that white as previously. They were going to play a joke on Donald and pay him back for teasing Duck. The engines were again busy and no word was said. Not even a Quack. Lately, Duck's driver and fireman popped something into his water tank, but Duck's driver is missing his mustache. Quack. Next morning, when Donald was having a drink, he found that he had an unexpected passenger aboard. A small white duckling popped out of his water tank. Okay, I never heard or seen about a completely white duckling, but this looks more like a fully grown duck. Quack. Quack. Now do who's behind this? The duckling was tame, and she shared the fireman's sandwiches. She also really loved riding on Donald's tender. Donald was sometimes teased about her. At last, the duckling grew tired of riding, and she hopped off in the station, and there she stayed. Later, Donald's driver and fireman were busy, and in the morning, when Duck's crew arrived, they laughed and laughed. Look, Duck, look what's under your bunker. It's a nest box with an egg in it. Fun fact, to make this thing looking like a box, they used a short wheelbase of a plank truck. Donald opened a sleepy eye. Actually, he has opened two of them. Well, well, well. Donald's eyes are wonky. There's a pond near the duckling station. Here she often swims and welcomes the trains as they pass by. The station master calls her Dilly, but to everyone else, she is always Donald's Duck. So those are all of the goose found in season 3 episode, Donald's Duck. I hope you all enjoyed this video, my dear train lovers, and I'll see you next time.